But we'll be looking to progress in the main cup competition, having claimed the plate in Dubai and Wellington. The moment it is uh, for rugby in Guyana, they appear for the first time as a nation in the This has been made to the width of the park uh, here at the Sam Boyd Stadium. So some of these leading nations will have to, to adjust possibly to the width and uh, take the, the more direct route down the middle as opposed to spreading it wide. Yeah, I don't think you'll find any of the teams or any of the coaches uh, looking for an excuse in the reconfiguration of this, uh, what is a, an American football field. But it's just something they're going to have to adapt to. And, and as I said before at the head of the show, it's what you do before you get the space rather than just saying, well, I have five minutes in the side. Francisco Pastrana is the referee for this match from Argentina. It's uh, a developing ground for players, of course, but also for referees, aspiring international referees. And uh, Francisco Pastrana, the Argentinian in 71, who's making a name for himself in the game. Australia then, kick off, kick long, Theodore Henry just can't quite gather. And it'll be a throw in the first off for Australia. Here, sir, here's the, the mic. First ever Rugby World Cup final at Edinburgh back in 1993. Uh, they've got some exciting youngsters in this side. Uh, the likes of uh, Ed Quirk and Kimami Sitwati at uh, 18 years of age. That's it. Uh, Sitwati, Canadians keen, desperate to make an impression with uh, the Commonwealth Games in Delhi coming up, of course, later on this year. They've got some uh, solid citizens in that uh, Ghanaian side. Keep an eye out for the guys along here. Please, the, uh, the dreadlocks, he's uh, Theodore off, Henry. Hands off, Advantage. They've been working hard over recent weeks and recent months. The top side in the Caribbean, Guyana. A chance here though for Australia, the pass is not going to hand, but they'll get the penalty. Slightly ropey start there from Australia, but good defence from Guyana. Good start for them, that's very important. Sir. If you start a competition and there are arm tackles and misses here and misses there, it could be a long couple of days, but yeah. they've started brightly. The Guineas, the four-time consecutive Caribbean Sands champions. The only team from the Caribbean participating in this tournament. And good. At East in Queensland. Man over for Australia here. Backing himself though is Kimami Sitoami from the Queensland Reds Academy. Now then, the width of the field here. Out it goes. Brian Safanaya, man over, but Bernard Foley will not need him. And it's a first try for the Australians. Good patient build up, stretching the uh, Guiana defence one way, then the other, and the breakthrough by Bernard Foley. Yeah, classic sevens there from Australia, using the width of the field. Some strong strike runners staying on their feet in contact, making it easy to recycle possession. And then just some nice execution of hands. They made it look a lot easier than it actually is. Those long 20, 30 metre passes out in front. It's Bernard Foley just has a little bit too much pace on the outside. Foley made his debut in uh, the IRB World Series in uh, Dubai just before Christmas. That's an indication again of the width yeah. of the park, uh, Johnny, we're I talking think, about. Yeah, I think that's the hardest thing that the yeah. players will have to come to terms with, is, is missing the two or three metres on the sideline uh, from the uh, kickoffs. Just, just to explain to viewers who might not be familiar with uh, the Sam's rugby court, it's the try-scoring team that gets to the restart. Chance at four, Guiana with ball in hand. The no respecters of uh, reputation, that's for sure. Bets. One of the fastest uh, men in the Caribbean rugby, and this guy won the strongest. Let's <laughs> begin by uh, Australia. It's solid tackling. Oh, a little pass at the back door there from Guyana, but just couldn't quite hold on to it, Theo Henry. Find the hooker, please, okay? And Australia will be dangerous no, for a broken field situation. Crouch! Stuati, fantastically Thanks. talented. Oh, okay. Yana, just checking the numbers. It's uh, Shane McKenzie who's come over on the, uh, the narrow side with the, uh, the flashy red boots. I tell you what, it's going to be a good lady player to wear flashy red boots, Johnny. Michael O'Connor is the uh, Australian coach. A chance here, Claudius Butts just spotted the gap there. Uh, right to the tips of his fingers and it's a chance for Australia but that was a, a genuine try scoring opportunity for Guyana yeah they've had two or three good opportunities to really put Australia under pressure and just their handling has let themselves down I 
maybe just a little lack of experience, a little lack of match practice in this kind of environment. But yes. Australia being tested by the Guineas. It's a totally new environment for the Guineas. They've gone four so years without a loss to a Caribbean side, Crouch. during which time they've racked Back. up a staggering 26 nil record. <laughs> trained well in preparation uh, for their first uh, ever appearance in the IRB Sound World Series. But how can they cope with a strong man in Australia? That is the question. And uh, it's uh, lovely. High temperatures here at uh, Las Vegas this weekend, merging the uh, 60 degrees mark. And uh, these games three on day one are going to sap the energy of these players, especially the more inexperienced players. Seeing some nice offload play there from Pat McCutcheon, captain of the uh, Australian team. Involved twice there. Big strong runner from Sydney University. So just under two minutes Hi, remaining on this first half. Guineas having uh, restricted Australia Crouch. to just the one score. Back, ball, finger. That's That's Gives himself a pace, and the bounce not kind, but the support is there though from uh, Albert LaRose, based in Canada these days. Chance for Kevin McKenzie, oh, the best in England, plays for the Bracknell Club. And there's no give, there's no bounce at all in this uh, ground, is there? Green, please! Pitch especially prepared for this what, tournament. What, 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 and Guiana, unfortunate and showing a, a little inexperience perhaps. Yeah, but some really good vision there, both from Butts and then and also uh, down the wing there from Walter George, I think it was. Just chipping over the top, seeing there wasn't a sweet sweeper and really getting in behind the Australians. And they were unlucky at that breakdown. That yeah, really could have gone either way. So some very good signs from Guiana. They will be difficult over these next two days. A genuine concern for Michael O'Connor, and you can see why. <laughs> Yeah, because scoring points is all important on day one, of course, because yep. that determines where you play in the second day, whether it be in the uh, main cup competition or in the secondary bowl competition. So here come Australia through James Stannard, the oldest member of the Australian squad at 26 years of age. And they really need to concentrate on their passing. Yeah, Australia seem to be persisting with this, take it to midfield and then switch back to the short side in the hope that the defence is all shifted across. And that's fine, but sometimes when the defence closes down your space, you're, you're forcing the pass, it can often be sometimes forward, and it's a difficult situation. You need real good execution to get through that. But it's another example of teams having to adjust teams who like to spread the ball yes. out wide. Yep. And we're going to see that certainly for the first uh, round of games. Uh, so there goes the Hooter, the last chance perhaps here for the Ghanaians to get a score before referee blows for time but there it is but it's a it's been a solid performance from Guiana and I've been very impressed by them in this uh, opening seven minutes they've defended their territory very well they've been very organized they've backed each other up and they've been tenacious at the breakdown I've been very impressed with the skill level of uh, number four Albert LaRose uh, 